Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. We had a bunch of Loco on Loco matchups last night, and new Team Loco contributor Connor Worrell was out of Hilton Head Christian Academy for a boys' soccer matchup between the Eagles and the Hilton Head Seahawks, who edged away for a 4-2 win in soggy conditions. Holy Trinity's girls won a crosstown clash with Buford Academy, while John Paul II's boys down BA 1-0 in an evenly matched contest, and the Whale Branch boys edged Branchville 4-3. Our friends at Buford's own were on hand for a girls' soccer Donnybrook between Buford and Bluffton, who played to a 2-2 draw through regulation and overtime and were still knotted 4-4 in penalties when sophomore keeper Alexa Jade Smith made the first save of the shootout and Sierra Gies buried the final PK to give the Bobcats a hard-fought win. Team Loco's Wes Kerr was treated to bonus lacrosse at Bluffton High, where Zach Ramsey scored 11 seconds into overtime to give the Bobcats a 5-4 win over an upstart HHCA program. JP2's Ross Putnam was the star on the diamond last night with a five-inning no-hitter and a 10-0 win over First Baptist. Six strikeouts and four walks for Putnam in his third career no-no. Colleton Prep and Thomas Hayward also picked up wins on the baseball diamond, and the softball teams from Battery Creek and JP2 won big. And we have some golf champs to celebrate as HHCA's Sage Bradshaw claimed the individual title at the Low Country Invitational and USCB's Nikolai Holm finished atop the leaderboard at the Ram Shootout in Pinehurst, giving the Sandsharks a share of the team title with Virginia Union. Tune in to the Loco Media Network at 10 p.m. tonight to get all the latest local sports news on the Loco Sports Lowdown. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!